guys, good Saturday morning. It is Saturday morning. We are up. Everyone except for mom is fed. That guy's heading to the... Gym and confession. Gym and confession. Uh, reconciliation, penance, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Confession. I'm doing the PPP. Something... Oh, wait. Post-penance... Something. I was... I, a PPL was post-penance lift. I thought that'd be funny, but... I thought of a PPP, but I forgot what I titled the last P. Post penance. Push ups. No, it's leg day. <laughs> Post. I Post don't... penance push. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I, I I got everybody fed. Now I'm going to eat. I'm really not hungry. My stomach's a little bit off. But I'm going to try to eat a little bit. Um, then I need to get breakfast cleaned up. I need to get some corn, mozzarella, tomato, basil salad made for a picnic we're going to this afternoon. I was thinking of making something else to take, too. I just can't think of what. Watch yourself. I see that. And then um, I also want to get a little hostess gift together. Uh, I'm not sure what everybody else's plans are today, but we have the picnic at 4 o'clock. It is Doug's Deacon class. It is the picnic for them. Um, I need, I, he needs to move the van. Ah, and he needs to move moving car. cars. <laughs> so, anyway... That's what's happening. Um, I think I'm probably going to send somebody to the road stand for the corn while I clean up breakfast and all that stuff. So whatever happens this weekend, we will take you along and I'm going to go eat my breakfast. Next up is processing a bunch of peppers. Our peppers are not getting big this year at all. Um, last year, our pep we had a bumper crop of peppers. They were huge. They were great. Um, this year, I mean, we've got a lot, but they're just really small. And if we let them stay on there to get bigger, they're tending to rot. So I'm just doing the bigger ones whole. And then the smaller ones I'm cutting up. I'm going to flash freeze just like I did the other day and get in bags. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas and have not showered. Don't judge me. <laughs> We're going out. So I'd rather shower right before we leave. Anyway. So yesterday, Andrew worked a golf tournament. Um, there is a hockey player, pro hockey player. His name is Johnny Gaudreau. He used to play for the Calgary Flames. I forget who he plays for now. Andrew would yell at me. Um, anyway, he, who does he play for? Mm, it doesn't say on there. Anyway, he went to the high school where Andrew and Adam went and where Andrew teaches. Um, he gives back so much to the high school and one of the things him and his family do every year is hold a golf outing as a scholarship fundraiser. So a lot of the teachers are volunteers at the fundraiser. Um, like they sit in, like Andrew's job was sitting at hole 16, which is the hole in one hole. If anybody gets a hole in one on that hole, they win a car. Nobody has ever. Um, but whatever. So that's Andrew's job is sitting at hole 16 and, and watching the hole. But they also have like um, a big silent auction. Like some of the prizes are out there. Like a 10 day stay at a villa in Italy and all this really cool stuff. Plus they also just have auction prizes. Um, so Andrew was, um, you know, putting in a couple prizes just because he wants to get back to the school he teaches at. Well, he won one. <laughs> And of course, it's the one that like, but we have someone in the family that can absolutely use it. So let me show you what he won. So he won a box of imported cigars and a very high tech humidor. For said cigars. So... And apparently, like, the thing said everything together, including a piece of art, um, was worth, like, $1,000. He's just going to gift it to my brother-in-law, who is a cigar guy. So, yeah. But, like Andrew said, it was kind of fun to win something, even if it's something he couldn't use. And he said it was just a donation. So, anyway, that was his excitement yesterday. I still have that many peaches. They're just starting to get ripe, so I will probably take care of those tomorrow. I'm going to try a new recipe for a cantaloupe peach conserve. So that should be interesting. Stay tuned for that. But right now, I'm just going to get ready to make the corn salad. 
Okay, I made up a little, it's not the prettiest, but a little um, hostess basket for the family who is hosting the picnic today. Um, I just put in a dozen eggs, some zucchini relish, some peach preserves, some blueberry jam, and some homegrown tomatoes. I gotta make those look a little nicer in there. Um, but just a little something something for our hostess. That went in, I would have laughed a lot. That would have been funny. Ooh. Oh. Nope. Oh. Good morning. We are on our way to church and we're not driving. See what happens when you have a long driveway that can fit three cars, but not next to each other. <laughs> Andrew was in the back. Andrew's driving. Um, so last night, I don't even remember where I left off. I know I vlogged a little of the picnic. I don't even know if I talked to you after that. We had a good time at the picnic. It was very nice. The boys, that was the first time they met a lot of um, the other people's kids. Um, it was fun. Doug, Doug and the boys played a lot of cornhole. I sat and watched and talked to some of the other wives and all that fun stuff. Um, what else did we do? Ate. Forgot to show you my plate. I had ribs. I had two ribs, some corn salad. I forget what else. It was delicious, though. It was, food was very good. Um, the guy who hosted it is a big, real big into, like, smoking meat and grilling and stuff. So, it's always very delicious. We came home and hung out and watched two episodes of The Floor. It is a, well, we watched Philly's Game, which was, like, a home run derby. Um, and then we watched two episodes of The Floor. It's on Hulu, but like the free Hulu. No, well, I don't know if there's a free Hulu. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what streaming services we have anymore. Anyway, it's a pretty cool game. There's all these people on the floor. They each have a specific um, square. They have a specific thing that they're good at, like a strength. And they like duel each other in it. Like one person was... Um, automobile car manufacturers so like they dueled this other person and like they would flash up the logo the car logo and they had to go back and forth and you have to guess the car logo and what else did they do last night um, like um popular books that was a cool one horror movies horror movies where they just showed like a scene from the movie usually like the main person and all it's but sci-fi character so it was fun Adam really enjoyed it um, Andrew was out with friends so he was not home but maybe tonight he'll watch an episode with us if he's around who knows um, yeah that's about all we did last night and then we got up this morning get ready for church and that is where we are on our way to right now um, nobody signed up for any ministries we got to get back into that next week probably but we'll see so my hope today is to make a new recipe for canning cantaloupe peach conserve. Sound that interesting? We'll see. I only bought one cantaloupe. I wonder if I should stop and get a second one on our way home. Because if we have too much, then we can just eat it. So I think I'll do that. Remind me, guys, stop at the road stand on the way home. Okay. So pretty much have to pass it anyway. Actually, we probably pass like three road stands. So anyway. And that is it. I will be back after church. First stop after church. It's been a while since we've been here. It's been, gosh, months, hasn't it? At least a month. Probably. Yeah. Oh, over a month. Yeah. So looking forward to a good breakfast. Okay, Doug got a skillet uh, okay. scramble. It's cubed potatoes with bacon, eggs, and cheese. Andrew got a breakfast grilled cheese with tater tots. Adam and I got the same thing. It is the very, very combo. It is blueberry stuffed French toast. It comes with two eggs and bacon and hash browns. He got scrambled eggs and tater tots. I got over easy eggs and bacon and hash browns. This'll 
be a table thing. I mean, I this is breakfast. This is just for the whole table to pick on. There's no way I can eat all that. Okay, next up is making the cantaloupe peach conserve. So in my pot here, I have four cups of chopped cantaloupe, and I am working on chopping up four cups of peaches. Okay, to the four cups of cantaloupe, I have four cups of chopped peaches. We are going to cook this for 20 minutes. And we just want to stir it consistently um, and make sure there's enough liquid in there from the fruit so it doesn't stick. So we're going to cook that for 20 minutes. Okay, we have this simmering now and we're going to let it go for about 20 minutes. It's got 10 minutes left to go. It's been going for 10. I think I probably should have cut the some of the cantaloupe a little bit smaller so I may go in with a knife and fix that I'll see how much it cooks down this recipe I'm not gonna lie takes a crap ton yes that's a mathematical term crap ton of um, sugar it's the only thing I don't love about it there is no pectin in it so I can't use like Pomona's pectin and reduce the sugar I believe it's the sugar is what causes it to thicken and gel so we're just gonna go with it Next thing we're gonna do is add the sugar. Oh, this is killing me. It is so much sugar. <laughs> Adam, Adam's face. It's six cups of sugar, Adam. Wow. I know. It's for the market. It's for the market. We'll taste it, but that's it, people. <laughs> Did you know that, you know, I, I'm telling my family this, but I'll just mention it on here. This is why I use the Pomona's pectin in regular jam i think it's eight cups of mashed fruit has like seven cups of sugar with the pomona's pectin i use like one cup of sugar for yeah so this is not something we normally do and then i'm going to add in a quarter cup of lemon juice that's going to bring the acidity up to make it safe to can and we are going to bring this to a boil once again and we're gonna boil it until it gets nice and thick. It smells good. Different, we'll see. Okay, this has been cooking for a while. It's really not thick, but. So I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And a half a teaspoon of, I'm sorry, a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add in one teaspoon of grated orange peel. I apologize for the TV in the background. Fam is watching the Phillies lose. I said... That London series was going to be their downfall, and I was right. Ever since that London series, they can't get their act together. Okay. We're going to stir all this in, and we're going to boil it for three minutes. Then we're going to jar it up. Okay. We boiled it for three minutes after adding the other ingredients. It's not thick at all. I, I truly have never made a conserve before, and Adam and I looked it up to see what a conserve even was and what you do with it. Honestly, the only reason I made this is because it sounded interesting. And I definitely should have cut the cantaloupe a little smaller. Um, quarter inch head space after we ladle it into the jars. And it says it's gonna make four to five half pints. I'm not quite sure about that. Looks like it's gonna make more, I don't know, but we're gonna process it. I believe it's for five minutes. I'll double check the recipe. It needs to dry out already, and we will, I don't know, see what happens. Okay, jars in. We're gonna bring that to a boil, and we're gonna process it. There's a little left in here, we tasted it. Um, oh my. Flavor's good, but it is so sweet. Like, our, my family would never be able to eat this. Um, but I mean, good flavor. I would just like about, I don't know, a quarter of the sugar in it, I think. 
There is the peach conserve. Okay, dinner is kind of a self-serve, quick, easy dinner tonight. I used our butcher box chicken strips, cooked those up in the oven, and then a dear friend made us a big tray of mac and cheese, so I just heated that up, and that's gonna be dinner. So we have our after dinner activity. <laughs> We're lazy. Yeah, this is active. We're lazy. So Andrew, Doug, me, and Adam are all sitting here and we are watching The, the Floor. floor. The floor. Um, just a random game show I saw advertised. And the whole, the first season's over, but we didn't watch it while it was on, so we're going back and watching it. It's really cool. We are really enjoying it. Um, of course, I've been enjoying anything that my kids are sitting here doing with me, so I'm a lucky mama. But anyway, we are enjoying it very much and uh, having a good time playing along with the TV. So that's what we're going to do since dinner is over. So the pineapple, pineapple, oh my goodness, peach cantaloupe conserve thickened up a little bit, but not super thick like jam. Honestly, I don't even know what conserve is. I looked it up and basically you use it like jam. Um, but this is kind of liquidy and it is so, so, so sweet, like crazy sweet. So I don't know, maybe we'll try to use it as a syrup over pancakes or French toast or something. But as far as something for the market, not gonna happen because I'm not 100% happy with it. So there's that. And this will be the end of the weekend vlog. I'm gonna go spend some time with the people I love the most, Doug and the boys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will catch you guys in my next video.